Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this flicker reducer tool in Vegas Pro so you can actually create footage going from this to this if you apply the filter on it it's going to be really straightforward and really simple as well so if you guys are excited for this video make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the first time watching and i would say let's get into this tool right after the intro all right guys so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18 and I have this stock clip of this bridge and it's actually flickering quite a bit. I don't know what happened to the camera or the settings to what they shot it. So how we're going to resolve this, it's actually pretty, pretty simple. So of course, Vegas Pro 18 released a couple, uh, I think about a week ago now. Make sure to check out the walkthrough that I posted last week uh, through the outro. You can just click through the card and where I'll show you guys this entire walkthrough and the new features. And one of the new features was actually the this flicker control so let's go ahead and click on it and of course we have many different presets depending on how our footage looks so let's drag on the default one so if i play this back right now it makes the footage a little bit you know go from darker to brighter and it's not really fixing anything so let's go and pick the first preset that is in this list and let's see what it does it's right here it says flicker reduction All right, so it tries to minimize the flickers just a little bit, but it's not, of course, what we want. So let's pick the next preset, the time-lapse flicker reduction. Let's see what that does. It's flickering quite badly again. So let's pick the other one, which is the add 50 kilohertz flicker template. So it actually makes this a lot worse. Let's pick the 60 kilohertz flicker reduction. So if I play this back, it's not really optimizing, but that's because this is not, of course, you know, set on the video that we have. So right here we have flicker frequency. That means like how badly is it flickering and how quick. So if you're going to drag this quite a bit up. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select everything and I'm going to throw this one into a loop so it keeps playing. If I put down the flicker frequency, frequency it actually makes it a lot better now the sensitivity if i drag that up it's actually going to reduce it quite a bit and it's just it's like a little more steeper kind of a flicker then, of course, like cutting it out completely. Of course, if I drag down sensitivity about halfway, that makes it a little bit better. But the secret trick is actually picking the last one, which is the add celluloid flicker. So if I drag that one on, it keeps flickering like that. But if I put up the flicker frequency, it's actually going to minimize this quite a lot. Right here, especially on this shot, it is actually not flickering anymore. So if I throw up the sensitivity even more, this is what it looks like and it just reduces the flicker a lot a lot more because of course you cannot like take it out completely because vegas pro has to like somehow you know connect these pieces where it's flickering and if it's a lot of flickering within the program it's cutting out these flickers and it's like blending them together but this is basically what it looks like if i put the sensitivity up quite a bit and it is actually really really mind-blowing if we went from this clip which is flickering really really bad to this clip as you can see looks very very tight and this is one of the new features vegas pro 18 has implemented into this brand new version that released a week ago and like i've mentioned if you would like to pick up vegas pro 18 the link is down below and if you're kind of in a doubt if you should upgrade or whatever or get a new version make sure to check out the walkthrough because we're going to go in detail about all the new features what's new in vegas pro and all that so that's basically how to reduce flickering in Vegas Pro 18. All right, guys, so that's how simple it is. This is how you use the flicker reducer tool in Vegas Pro 18. There's nothing more to it. Just apply on it, change the settings a little bit, and then you can just actually decide like, all right, this setting looks better on that clip because there is like a little more flickering. It is just a matter of getting the settings right. So if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this tool as well, make sure to reward it with a like down below and I'll see you guys obviously in the next one.